this is Unit 2, Week 3, all of the amendments in the Constitution. The Civil War Amendments, or the Slavery Amendments, or the Reconstruction Amendments, because they were all passed during the Reconstruction period right after the Civil War. Most of the amendments came in groups. The 13th Amendment, pretty straightforward. No slavery in the United States. End of slavery. Simple, straightforward. 14th Amendment. Um, Establish the definition of citizenship. What it was supposed to be initially was that blacks are citizens and states have to treat them as citizens. It's come to be a huge extension of your rights and guarantees. What it says is no state shall deny a citizen the due process of the law, the right to follow the same process that everyone else follows, or the equal protection of the law. Both of which, well, the due process is also in the Fifth Amendment. But the words no state is so key. What does that mean? Due process. All of those Bill of Rights protections that protect you as a citizen against the federal government, things the U.S. government can't take away from you, now the state governments can't take away from you. So they've incorporated, sucked it all in. The, Bill of, the Supreme Court over time has decided all those Bill of Rights protections also are your protections from the state which is really significant because most criminal issues deal with state matters and state affairs. So you're more likely to be in some sort of a criminal defense of yourself against the state. So now the, your extensions and protections of a citizen are broadly, broadly expanded. The 15th Amendment, who got to vote as a right, result, very simple. You cannot deny the right to vote in all these expanding of the enfranchisement over the history of the United States are defined negatively. You cannot be denied the right to vote based on race. Essentially, blacks are now eligible to vote and states can't deny them. Of course, they came up with all kinds of creative ways to do that. Grandfather clauses, if your grandfather couldn't vote, you can't vote. It applies equally to everyone. Think about it. If your grandfather was a slave, you can't vote, then your grandchildren, etc. Kind of stupid. And then they came up with poll taxes, a fee. Everyone, it applies to everyone equally. Or literacy tests, it applies to everyone equally. If you can't prove you're literate, you can't vote. But all of those are ways to get around the Civil War amendments, which were extensions of civil rights to black citizens after the Civil War. And that's it from the happy, although not that this episode of our history was all that happy, House of History.